Well, Ainsworth issuing a statement on the statewide mask mandate saying in part, quote, issuing a state wide mask mandate is an overstep that infringes upon the property rights of business owners and the ability of individuals to make their own health decisions. You can read Senator Jones and Lieutenant Governor Ainsworth's full responses on our website, WKRG.com. The head of the CDC believes face masks are the key to slowing the spread of coronavirus in the U.S. CDC Director Robert Redfield said if everyone wore one, the outbreak might be brought under control within a couple of months. His comments came as the country's COVID-19 death toll rose today to more than 136,000. The new requirement in Alabama is part of an effort to keep people out of hospitals and off ventilators. Church Lombard is joining us from her home tonight to tell us why you don't want to be on a ventilator. Yeah, well, I remember interviewing a gentleman last month who was on a ventilator for more than a month, and he said it was one of the worst experiences of his life. Now, ventilators are often referred to as life support machines, and they're used in intensive care units for patients who can't breathe on their own. Many of the sickest patients with COVID-19 need the assistance of a ventilator just to survive. In a video just released, UAB medical professionals explain how ventilators work. First, a tube is inserted through your mouth or nose directly into your trachea, allowing the machine to push air into your lungs, forcing you to inhale. You can't swallow, speak, or cough. We breathe with, with negative pressure, so you just kind of open your mouth and air just kind of flows in gently at, at your own control. But with a ventilator, it's actually pushing air into it. So, uh, you know, imagine your face is in front of a, a blower, uh, a leaf blower. Doesn't sound fun, right? Now, Jerry King is an assistant professor in the School of Health Professions at the University of Alabama in Birmingham. And he says you might be sedated if you're lucky, but you won't be sedated the entire time if you have to be on a ventilator. He says throughout the course of the pandemic, about half of the patients in UAB's COVID-19 ICU have been on a ventilator. And he adds the importance of wearing a mask in public and practicing social distancing, saying, quote, you don't want to be the one, the carrier, who puts somebody in the hospital who ends up needing a ventilator. Cherish Lombard, WKRG News 5.